So Squid Game came out a few weeks ago, and everyone's been playing it. So if you somehow haven't heard of Squid Game, it's basically a game where you kidnap a bunch of people and then you force them to play childhood games. So I came up with the genius idea of making a Squid Game game. Using the power of Unreal Engine and RTX graphics, I'm going to recreate both the Red Light, Green Light, and Glass Bridge game from the series. So the red light green light level is just a box in the middle of nowhere. And luckily, Unreal Engine comes included with a box in the middle of nowhere. So now if we just delete all the objects, now we have an empty box. And if we scale it up, we have a really big empty box, which is basically halfway there already. So the arena in the series is decorated with sand, a sky box, a building, a doll, and a tree. So I downloaded some models and materials from the Quixel Megascans library, then I added sand, a skybox, a building, a doll, and a tree, and a timer. So now we need to make the doll's head rotate around. But if we just set the object's rotation, then the head just snaps back and forth, which is probably pretty painful. So we have two options to fix this. We can either make a simple animation in one minute using Blender, or write a bunch of complex math and codes programmatically animated. So being the efficient developer I am, we're obviously going to write a bunch of math. So I use something called rotation interpolation, which is basically a method of making an object rotate over time. And just like that, the doll's head ro And just like that, the doll's head now rotates perfectly. So now we can walk around and the doll's head rotates. But now we need to add actual gameplay. So the rules of red light, green light are simple. Just like when you're driving a car, you can move when it's a green light, stop when it's a red light. But if you move during a red light, instead of getting a ticket from a police officer, a giant doll shoots you. So I made a script that starts, sets the new light, and then starts back up again. And then starts, sets the new light, then starts back up again. It starts, then sets the new light, then starts back up again. I also set up a movement script that checks if the player is moving during a red light. So now if we start the game, we can move during a green light, but if we move during a red light, we get shot. So red light, green light is usually played with multiple people, but there's kind of a problem. I don't have any friends. So just like anyone else would do, I made my own friends. And using the Cascade Particle System, I gave him some tomato juice particles in Ragdoll Physics. Meet Bob. He can walk, he can stand, and... Wait, Bob, what are you doing? It's a red light. So now if we spawn in a couple dozen Bobs, we have a full game. So now let's move on to the glass bridge game. In glass bridge, there are 18 pairs of glass panels, one of which is tempered and one of which is regular. 16 players take turns trying to jump across without falling through the regular panel. So I set up some simple mechanics so you can jump from cube to cube and if you jump on a glass cube, you fall down. To make the glass shatter, I used the apex destruction system to create a destructible mesh. Now we can jump from cube to cube, and if we land on glass, it will shatter into pieces. So to create the level, I'm just going to take a cylinder and just stick a circle on top of it. So I opened up Blender and I made a hollow cylinder, and I also turned the sphere into a weird roof model. And now if we put them together, we have this, which kind of looks like sh**. And if we fly inside of it, we'll notice that we can't actually see the inside of it. So now to fix this, we have to flip the normals, which is basically when you take the normals and you flip them. So I went back into Blender and I flipped the normals. And now we can see the inside of it, which is great, but we have to make it look like the series now, which is going to be kind of hard. Alright, so now that we have this sick level, we need 16 friends. And again, I hate to remind you guys, but I don't have any friends. So I just made it so that if the player falls below a certain Y level, he just respawns back up and he loses one try. So now that we're done with both games, it's time to try them out. But we have to do one more thing.
Alright guys, I really enjoyed making that game, so if you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, because I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos like this. 